Hello everybody, it's Daryl from GB Reloading and today we're going to be talking about chamfering in deburring, why you do it and how you do it. Now you'll know that you need a deburring and chamfering tool if you watch the beginner's shopping list, um, but today we're going to actually do it so you can see how you do it properly. Now here's the tool, this is an RCBS deburring and chamfering tool and here's some rifle brass. Now, reasons why you do it, as you're reloading and you're resizing your brass as it goes up through your collet neck sizing die or your full length deep priming and sizing die, what happens is your case gets stretched. And what happens when your case gets stretched? You have to trim it so it fits your rifle, so it fits in your chamber. What happens is once you've trimmed it, you get rough edges on, on, the, on the neck of the case. So how do you get rid of the rough edges? What you do is, first of all, you take your chamfering tool. Now the chamfering tool is the pointy end. That goes in, into the neck of the brass. Just zoom in there. And what you do, once that's zoomed in properly, you just give it a twist. And that gives you a nice smooth neck there and what that means is the reasons why your chamfer is so you can seat your bullet so it aligns and inserts smoothly once you've put the bullet on top of your neck on the case mouth and it's on the re it's on your reloading press on the upstroke it goes into your overall seating die and it's it's seated within the neck of the of the case smoothly and it's aligned properly now let's talk about deburring. Once you've you've trimmed, you also need to deburr as well because what happens on the case, you get rough edges all around, all around there, and that can lead to chambering issues if you've got a bit of a bit, little bit of brass uh, like piece that's sticking off sideways, it's going to scratch your chamber as you load the round. Uh, into the chamber, it'll scratch your chamber and you don't want that, do you? So what you do is you take your deburring end, that's the, uh, that's the end with the three points on the end of it, fit it over, over the case neck and you just give it a few turns, about three or four turns. And it makes that god awful horrible noise, which I can't stand, reminds me of nails on a blackboard when I was at school. Can you say a blackboard anymore? I, I don't know, I, I still say it anyway. So anyway, what that does is that gives you a nice smooth entrance to the case neck, makes sure that it's not gonna scratch your chamber as it goes in, okay? So that's how you chamfer and deburr. I'm Daryl from GB Reloading, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and bye for now.